Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be looking at supernatural action anime called My Hero Academia. Pro Hero Hawks discovers a shocking truth about the Paranormal Liberation Front while getting closer to twice that the group is divided into two factions and is planning a devastating attack on Japan, which could result in chaos and lawlessness. Determined to stop them, Hawks decides to take action before it's too late. At a crucial conference, the pro heroes learn that the creator of the bioengineered Namu is Dr. Kudai Garaki, the head of Jaku General Hospital. Suspecting that he is conducting dangerous experiments, they believe that the PLF's hideout is located in Gunga Mountain Villa, where Garaki has a hidden laboratory. Dividing into two teams, the heroes engage the villains with the help of provisional hero licensed students. Team Endeavor, led by the eponymous hero, sneaks into Jaku Hospital and surrounds Garaki, revealing that he has been using his life force quirk to appear younger than he really is. The heroes suspect that he may have aided all for one and foreshadowed the super regenerative powers of the Nama. However, their interrogation is interrupted when a Namu clone attacks Garaki and stabs him in the heart. Garaki's double was created to take his place and allows him to focus on Tamura, but the heroes are now aware of his deception. As Mirko confronts Garaki, the situation takes a surprising turn, and the heroes realize that capturing him will be extremely difficult with the help of his Namu and Tamura. Paranormal Liberation War A fierce conflict has already begun. However, the villainous Shigaraki remains unconscious as he undergoes the process of having his quirk enhanced. Meanwhile, the pro heroes are battling swarms of Namu, dangerous bioengineered corpses with multiple quirks, as they search for the authentic Dr. Yujiko at Jaku Hospital. Endeavor and Eraser Head team up to take on the hospital, and their partnership proves to be successful. However, when Endeavor offers Aizawa a permanent position as his psychic, the latter declines, prioritizing the safety of his students above all else. The team's focus remains on finding Dr. Yujiko and removing the Namu from the hospital, with Mirko already having found the actual doctor. As for Midoriya, I, Todoroki, Achako, and Bakugo, their duty is to ensure the safety of the populace and assist with evacuation efforts. Although Bakugo initially feels left out of the action, the group soon finds themselves battling the Namu when they attack. These beings possess multiple quirks, making them incredibly difficult to defeat. Mirko manages to take down the strongest of them, the High Ends, with relative ease. Team Ed Shot receives the order to attack Gunga Mountain Villa, with Kaminari and Takoyami being the only members of the front line. Cementos destroys the majority of the Paranormal Liberation Front's offices, shocking Skeptic as he realizes the heroes are gaining the upper hand. Ms. Midnight encourages Kaminari, reminding him to focus on saving the people in need. During the fight at Gunga Mountain Villa, Kaminari absorbs and redirects the ferocious Supreme Discharge Thundernet Blast. The heroes seal the entrances and demolish half of the villa, surrounding the villains. Although Hawks manages to restrain Jin Bubegawara, he escapes arrest. To secure the unsecured routes, Fatgum and Takoyami work outside, while Dabai attacks Hawks inside, leaving him seriously injured. However, Hawks manages to defend himself and escape Jin's grasp, entering the hall to fight back. Jin stabs a hero who tries to capture Mr. Compress and Himiko, but the hero turns out to be a copy. The real hero has already died from his wounds, and the copy thanks the villains for saving his life. In the meantime, Sun Eater engages in battle, and Midnight uses her somnambulous quirk to put one adversary to sleep. With the help of Takoyami, Fatgum blocks the unprotected corridors after Shinya Kamahara disables the nameless PLF commander with a thousand sheet piers. The villains are supposed to wait until their leader, Redistro, awakens, but Jin generates more clones to fight back. Hawks tries to convince Jin to change his ways, but Jin feels disgusted in himself for betraying his friends once more when he thinks back on Magnus passing. Hawks engages Dabai and twice in a last battle, persevering despite the odds, until Jin succumbs to his wounds caused by Hawk, leaving behind a thankful replica. Following the death of twice, Dabai burns the majority of Hawk's wings, leaving him defenseless against the villain. Hawks wonders how Dabai learned his real name, which has been kept secret for years. Although Dabai acknowledges researching everyone's history, he keeps his own reasons for joining the fight a secret. Meanwhile, Endeavor teams up with Mirko to fight the High Ends in Jaku General Hospital, where Shigaraki is being kept. As they attempt to free Shigaraki from his container, Mirko suffers serious injuries, and three High Ends appear. While the other heroes battle the high ends, Endeavor cauterizes Mirko's wounds. When Shigaraki's container is destroyed, he hits the ground and is revealed to be heartless. Garaki, who has dedicated his life to supporting All for One, is transported to the scene by the voice hero. Garaki confesses that All for One gave him his quirk in exchange for support, and that he has been employing duplicates of his original quirks. Shigaraki has a dream about his family and remembers happy times with his sister before envisioning murdering his father. In the dream, All for One also appears with his family, 
and when Shigaraki moves towards him, he wakes up. The heroes valiantly fight to protect themselves and innocent bystanders from the massive decay wave, which disintegrates everything in its path. Dabai manages to defeat Hawks, the number two pro hero at Gunga Mountain Villa, and nearly kills him. However, Takoyami and Dark Shadow swoop in at the last moment, rescuing Hawks and transporting him to safety. Meanwhile, Shigaraki unleashes his decay quirk on x Less, a pro hero responsible for watching over him. Despite x Less's heroic effort to destroy a quirk-destroying drug machine, he ultimately succumbs to Shigaraki's power. As the decay wave approaches, Midoriya and his friends detect suspicious activity at Jaku Hospital, where Shigaraki plans to use Gigantamacia to wreak havoc. Gran Torino rescues Yamada from the hospital and warns others to flee for their lives. Amid the chaos, the heroes work together to save as many civilians as possible, while some, like x Less, make the ultimate sacrifice to foil the villain's plans. Despite the dire circumstances, the UA, high school students strive to hone their abilities and become the next generation of heroes. As the heroes brace themselves against the overwhelming power of the decay wave, fear and uncertainty grip them. Every second is crucial as they fight to protect those around them and prevent further destruction. The stakes are high, and the odds seem insurmountable, but the heroes refuse to give up. The tragic news that pro heroes at Jaku Hospital have lost contact due to Tamura's decay wave reaches headquarters. In the chaos, Takoyami rescues Hawks while Geton knocks Midnight to the ground with a frost attack. Cementos aids Midnight in a vicious counterattack. Unaware that Tamura has summoned Gigantamacia. As the evacuation proceeds, Izuku senses impending doom. Endeavor locates Tamura and attacks him with Hellfire, but the villain is obsessed with finding one for all. Meanwhile, Deku and Bekugo flee to a remote location, but Tamura tracks them down using all for one search quirk. Deku warns Endeavor that Tamura is leading him away to minimize civilian casualties. Tamura emits a shockwave that disrupts wireless communication and triggers bizarre movements in Garaki's containers from his hidden lab. Tamura catches up to Deku and Bakugo, but Gran Torino shields them from his decay quirk. Despite the hero's efforts, Garaki's Namu are still alive and emerging from the buried laboratory. The villains relentlessly attack the heroes, with Tamura fixated on acquiring one for all from Deku. As the situation deteriorates, the heroes must find a way to stop Tamura and his Namu before they cause more damage. After the shocking news of contact being lost with the pro heroes at the Jaku Hospital, the operation against the villains intensifies. Amidst the chaos, the heroes face formidable challenges posed by Tamura, Gigantamacia, and the Namu. Deku and Bakugo try to flee, but are relentlessly pursued by Tamura. After Tamura's decay wave reaches Jaku City, news outlets report on the devastation and heroes team up with police to evacuate residents. However, the emergence of Namu from Dr. Garaki's destroyed lab makes the battle against Tamura even more challenging. Endeavor and Ruko attempt to fight him, but he proves too strong. Tamura targets Aizawa's erasure quirk, prompting Izuku and Bakugo to intervene. Meanwhile, Gigantamacia leaves the Gunga Mountain Villa and heads towards Jaku City with the founding members of the League of Villains. Midnight and Mount Lady try to stop him, but he overpowers them. Midnight contacts Momo, and they plan to put him to sleep with sedatives. Students from classes 1A and 1B prepare to face Gigantamacia, with Geton using his ice manipulation to keep them at bay. The heroes continue to battle Tamura and the League of Villains, even as Namu and Gigantamacia support the enemy. The UA, high students and a few pro heroes are determined to defend their city, despite the odds against them. With high stakes and overwhelming foes, the outcome of this conflict remains uncertain. As the battle rages on, the heroes face seemingly insurmountable odds. Despite their bravery and determination, the villains continue to gain ground. The fate of Jaku City hangs in the balance, and the outcome of this epic clash will have far-reaching consequences for the world of heroes and villains alike. The UA High students are faced with the daunting task of taking down the massive Gigantamacia, as the pro heroes are unable to stop him. With quick thinking and bravery, the young heroes successfully use explosives to halt the villain's rampage towards Jaku City, with the League of Villains members riding on Gigantamacia's back launch a fierce counterattack. Meanwhile, Tamura injured but unyielding, taunts the heroes and asserts that individuals like him, who were ostracized and left to suffer, have risen to power to overthrow the hero society that neglected them. Endeavor momentarily hesitates before attacking the villain with a powerful blast of fire. Mina, tasked with administering a sedative to Gigantamacia, is momentarily shaken by a past encounter, but Kirishima intervenes and saves her from harm. Despite Himiko's attempts to foil their plan, Kirishima manages to throw the sedative into Gigantamacia's mouth, thanks to his quick reflexes. As the battle intensifies, Tamura displays incredible speed and agility, leaping towards Aizawa with the intention of shooting him with quirk-destroying bullets. 
Deku, determined to stop him, uses Black Whip to restrain Tamura. But he manages to evade the attack and even clamps down on Deku's arm to block his 100% Wyoming smash. In a moment of desperation, Tamura fires the bullet, hitting Eraser Head's leg and potentially taking away his quirk. The heroes are left reeling from the devastating blow as the battle rages on. Aizawa is injured after being hit by the quirk erasing bullet, but bravely cuts off his leg to protect his powers. Meanwhile, Deku and Tamura continue their battle, with Deku using the Black Whip to unleash a barrage of attacks on his enemy. Deku notes that Tamura is able to defend himself despite employing 100% attacks. Bakugo is concerned about Deku's recklessness and lack of concern for his own well-being. Deku is able to unlock the float quirk but his left arm is completely damaged. Eventually, Bakugo, Shoto, and Endeavor team up to end the battle with Tamura using the prominence burn attack. However, All for One takes control of Tamura's body and stabs Bakugo, who pushes Deku aside to save him. The UA, students and pro heroes fail to stop Gigantamasia, who is approaching Jaku City. All Might had deliberately asked Dachako to suspend Midoriya Midair using the Zero Gravity Quirk so that he can practice unlocking the Float Quirk. All Might claims he is not hiding anything and confesses that he also worries about Deku. Shigaraki's regenerative powers give him an unfair advantage, making the battle with Deku a war of attrition. Eventually, All for One takes control of Tamura's body, surprising hero number one who starts falling to the ground. The villain's charred body turns towards Deku and calls him his brother, unleashing rivets on Deku. Bakugo pushes Deku aside and gets stabbed instead. In the midst of chaos, Bakugo protects Deku, but ends up injured himself. Shigaraki, under the control of one for all, disrespects Bakugo's sacrifice, causing Deku to lose control and leap towards the antagonist. However, they both end up trapped inside the oddity when Tamura tries to steal one for all. Meanwhile, pro heroes are tasked with stopping the approaching Gigantamasia. Emiko Toga breaks away from Gigantamasia to ask Achako about the passing of Twice and the hero's determination to stop the villains. However, Achako sees Toga's questions as unworthy and doubts her morals, leading to a fight between the two. Inside one for all, Nana Shimura advises Deku against exerting too much effort. Shigaraki is reminded of the debt he owes by one for all, which explains his frequent nightmares, as the consciousness of the previous owners is carried by stolen quirks. This may also explain Deku's nightmares given that he inherited his quirk from others. One for all mocks Deku's worth, but his stubbornness is defended by his brother, who claims he would sacrifice anything to help others. As the situation becomes increasingly dire with Gigantamasia causing destruction and other villains on the loose, the odds are stacked against the heroes as they try to rescue civilians and thwart the villain's schemes. Deku leaps towards Shigaraki after he prevents Tamura from destroying the universe inside one for all, but they both become powerless. Although Deku knows Shigaraki was unable to steal his quirk, he is too weak to fight and loses consciousness while falling. The outcome remains uncertain as the heroes continue to battle in this perilous situation. After the intense battle against the Paranormal Liberation Front, the heroes are left to pick up the pieces and assess the damage. Shoto, who had already captured Endeavor and Bakugo, saves Deku from hitting the ground and injuring himself. Although Bakugo and Endeavor have internal injuries, they manage to survive. Meanwhile, Nejire destroys the rivets that protruded from Shigaraki's spine, leaving him vulnerable. However, the presence of Gigantamasia, who is fiercely defending his master, prevents the heroes from taking advantage of this opportunity to strike Shigaraki. In the meantime, Toga corners Achako, demanding information on Twice's death. Achako confronts Toga and warns her that she will be arrested if she interferes with the rescue efforts. During this chaos, Dabai shocks everyone by revealing that he is actually Toya Todoroki, Endeavor's son, in a pre-recorded video that he publicly releases. He shares that his father was obsessed with surpassing All Might and had married Rei Himura for the sole purpose of having children with powerful quirks. Toya was believed to have died in a fire that reached temperatures over 2000 degrees Celsius but he had actually survived and developed a strong hatred for hero culture. Dabai's revelation also exposes the number two hero Hawks, who murdered twice and his own ally Best Genist in order to gain the trust of the villains. However, it is later revealed that Best Genist is still alive and returns just in time to save Endeavor from Dabai's attack. As Dabai's disclosure shatters the public's confidence, the hero's reputation takes a hit. The image of Hawks killing twice further tarnishes the hero's reputation reminding them that there is still much work to be done in building a world where heroes are truly trusted and respected. Best Genist intervenes and prevents the League of Villains from annihilating both the heroes and the villains. However, the situation turns chaotic when Nejire attempts to attack Shigaraki while he's unconscious, prompting Dabai to harm her. As the heroes engage in combat with the Namu, they manage to defeat half of them but also lose half of their team. 
Meanwhile, Shigaraki is approached by a group of Namu seeking to free their brethren. Lamillion, also known as Mirio, appears and engages the Namu single-handedly, but he is unable to take them down alone. To halt the monstrous creatures, Bakugo, Najire, and Ingenium team up. While Best Genus keeps the villains under control, Shoto finds himself in a dire situation when facing Dabai. But Deku saves him by using his Black Whip technique. Despite Endeavor's relentless efforts, Gigantamacia manages to break free from his restraints. As Momo and her colleagues administer a sedative, Gigantamacia falls into a coma. Exhausted from the fight, Endeavor collapses but remains alive. Here he uses her rewind quirk to restore Mirio's quirk, which he lost while battling Overhaul, allowing him to rejoin the heroes in their fight against the villains. To recover Mirio's permeation quirk, which allows him to phase through solid objects, Iri hones her quirk. Throughout the battle, the heroes suffer significant losses, but Best Genus continues to hold the villains in check as Mirio faces off against the Nama. Deku protects Shoto from Dabai, while Endeavor confronts Gigantamacia. Once Iri successfully restores Mirio's quirk, he rejoins the fight, and the heroes prepare to take down their enemies. Gigantamacia is defeated by the heroes with the aid of Best Genus's magic. The majority of the heroes are hurt or unconscious, thus the victory comes at a high cost. Mr. Compress decides to take matters into his own hands to offer his friends a chance at success because he remembers the League of Villains' early days when they were financially strapped. He reveals that he is in fact the great-great-grandson of the peerless thief, Oji Harama, and exploits his peculiarity to liberate himself and his comrades from best genus control. Mirio is able to take down Mr. Compress before he can reveal a new trick. Shigaraki is sadly under one for all's control, and the villains are about to make a retreat. Eventually, Izuku unintentionally activates the Danger Sense quirk, giving him the ability to detect approaching danger. With both of his arms shattered, he closes the gap between himself and the running Shigaraki using the Black Whip quirk from his lips. Izuku is committed to helping the heroes win the war. Despite the severity of his wounds and his shattered limbs, he is able to move around by using the Black Whip quirk from his mouth and approach Shigaraki, who is now under the influence of All for One. Izuku, on the other hand, is no match for him and is easily defeated by his assaults. One for all taunts Izuku for his pathetic state and he eventually succumbs to the taunts. If you liked what you saw, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified about our quality uploads.